Get your paper and your pencil and pay close attention to Kay's recipe for today. It's going to be nutritious and mm-mm, Kay's making it the Cajun way. Let Kay Cajunize your meal. Let Kay Cajunize your meal. Make time every day to cook with Kay. Let Kay Cajunize your meal. Welcome back to Cooking with Kay. Today we have guests on Cooking with Kay, Chef Shane Renee. How you doing, Kay? Good. Thanks for having me today. First thing we're gonna do is sweat down our Cajun Trinity. And the Cajun Trinity is nothing more than onions, celery, and bell peppers. Now we're gonna add our shrimp and put about one tablespoon of my smoky season rub and my season oil. By the way, this is uh, one pound of shrimp and one pound of vegetables. Now we're gonna add the mix. And we're gonna add our water. We're gonna let it boil for three to five minutes and then we're gonna cover it and shut it off. Don't uncover it when it's sitting. We got our jambalaya made. Uh, Kay did a wonderful job on that. And uh, we're gonna stuff these chicken breasts with this shrimp jambalaya. These are uh, six ounce breasts. So we're gonna cover it with this plastic wrap. And uh, we'll have Cade start pounding these chickens out. Go ahead, Cade. Start with that middle one. And we're using the plastic wrap uh, so we don't break the chicken all up. And plus we have a piece on the bottom and on the top. And it just it saves from mess and getting chicken uh, juice everywhere. Uh, we're gonna try to use, I'm, I guess, I'm, I'm gonna guess and say that's about three ounces of stuffing. There's a lot of shrimp in there. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna flip this over first. Go ahead. Just like I did, just like that. I'll take the sides and kind of pull them up like this. Put your fingers right here. What? Look at my hand and try to okay. Now just kind of roll it like that. Trying to keep the sides tucked in. There you go, buddy. Perfectly stuffed. Now we're gonna put these in the oven and bake them for about uh, 35 minutes and they should come out and be golden brown and beautiful. So Kate, I'm gonna show you real quick uh, before we get this salad made up that how to cut this tomato without losing anything except this core in the middle. Because we don't want to waste any of it. So you just cut the lid off, you know, and then you go like this, you just go in a square, okay? And that's, this is all we're going to not use of this tomato. Alright, so most people would throw that lid away, but we kept it. So you're going to go half, like half inch. And then we're just going to stack them up like this. Okay, and then you're going to make a checkerboard. And you turn it. Almost kept it all together, huh? And then we use the bottom. That's the only thing is left. So you don't lose any money on this tomato. So now I'm gonna show you real quick how I cut this parsley, okay? Take out any little, you know, if it's not real green, take it out. We're not gonna cut all the way to the bottom. So you take this cake and you roll it up like this. Okay, so let's in the tube like that. Get rid 
of that. You remember? I, you remember did you watch my video on the cross chop? I did. Go through that a couple of times, just like that. Yes, sir. And then just pull it, pull it back in with the knife. Yeah. to you know when you taste it you want it to taste like you ever had salt and vinegar and potato chips before mm -hmm. that's exactly how you want it to taste it's gonna taste a little vinegary a little salt this uh this cabbage salad is is, is like a it's a coast it's made in Costa Rica a lot that's where I learned it so go ahead and put um, for this amount we're gonna say about a half a cup of oil If we need a little more later, we'll put some more. And then, uh, go ahead and pour it in. You can also use olive oil with this. Um, go ahead and put a half a cup of vinegar. And then go ahead and put uh, two tablespoons of your uh, seasoned olive in it. All right. Now get in there with your hands and give it a toss. Go 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 like this right to the bottom. There you go. Okay, if you don't make a little bit of mess in the kitchen, you're not doing it right. It's probably good. While you got your hands all messy, go ahead and give it a little taste. See if it tastes like salt and vinegar potato chips. Better than it. Does it? All right, so we do good. All right, that's it. Hey, right, pay attention. We're going to put it in the oven and check on it in about half an hour at 400 degrees. Alright, our chicken's done and we let it cook for about 40 minutes. Now we're going to put down a bed of Costa Rican cabbage salad. So now we're going to uh, cut, uh, start carving our chicken. So Kate, I'm gonna show you how to um, cut the chicken on a bias, okay? So you're gonna hold your chicken right here, and you're gonna come in at an angle. This is about a 15 degree angle, okay? Let the knife do all the work. You know, you kind of do it like a saw. And kind of pinch it, you know, so it doesn't come apart. All right, so now we're just gonna gently take it over here and lay it down, and then what you wanna do is kinda fan it out. How's that look? Mm-hmm. Looks good. good. You wanna try one? Mm-hmm. Bring your hand up closer like that. Don't be afraid of the knife. Do long strokes. They don't, you don't have to push down too hard. Let the knife do the work. There you go. Yeah, you getting it? Push down a little hard at the end. Go a little more, a little more slanted. Put this little guy right there. 
So we have here our uh, uh, shrimp jambalaya stuffed chicken breast, which is a low calorie dish that doesn't taste like cardboard. You never know that you're eating a, a healthy dish. Mmm, mmm! This is awesome!